Thank you everyone for tuning in to Upland Inside the Game. I am Blood Spirit and I had a question that was asked to me. It said, great video, thanks. One of the most, I think he meant most, informative video for beginners. What do you con what do you consider a low ball price and how do you determine your selling price? Wow, that that is a absolute loaded question and it's 100 percent based upon multiple things it's based upon y how you want to play the game it's based upon how much you bought in it's based upon how much upex you need uh to paste it's based upon there's so many different variables that will there's no right or wrong answer to this but he did ask how i do it so this is what i do uh the first thing i do is i I, I know where I need to know where my floor is okay so I'm always looking at where the floor on the on the thing is we'll talk about this in just a second I'm having computer issues I don't know if I need to defrag my computer or what but I need to um, know what the floor is so get rid of this goofy guy here that uh, is in jail for whatever reason and get down to where the real floor is so that that's what I need to know that's where the cash price. I need to know the UPEX price. This will take forever to scroll down. I'm not even going to do it. But this is Chicago. By the way, I'm starting to notice the whites are disappearing in Chicago. This is pretty awesome. Uh, the floor is about to be set. But um, so I need to know that. I also need to know a general idea of my neighborhood. Now, this is this is how I look at that. So I will go into why would somebody charge more? Well, here is kind of a big area if you need to fill in a treasure map i'm gonna go with pretty much right here in this area in this county and i'm gonna pull the floor up on that and see see what the floor says on that and much different floor right much different price right we're up to eight thousand upix for the minimum i believe i'm not wearing my glasses anyways we've that is what you have to figure out based upon what you're going to do. And I always do a little bit above the floor because one of my strategies was early on, and it still happens quite often, is uh, I like to try to raise the floor. When I get a bunch of uh, friends that are willing to put in five, six hundred bucks, or between the three or four of us, um, a couple hundred bucks each, we will do whatever we can to raise the floor up so that we're... Um, you know making some profit and that's one strategy i don't do it a whole lot anymore because i got i wouldn't say i got burned but whew, boy that was some some tight days there so that's one way that uh reasons why i bring it up a little bit above the floor because i don't, I don't want to hurt the person that is trying to raise the floor if that's his strategy but then again if i'm with somebody who's trying to raise the floor i raise it up a little bit higher than what the floor is and they're trying to raise the floor i'm going to sell those properties for the right price also make sure um, when you look at one of your properties it's going to tell you what you purchased that property for right you never want to pay um, charge less than what you pay for it and you got to remember the commissions so this is what i paid for this property i don't think this includes the commission because i think this was the prop price that i paid for it i can look at my data and make sure but you want to make sure that I believe the commission on this would be about 170 upix. I believe. Let me thank you real quick. Um, yeah, about 100, about 160, I think. So you want to make sure that you're selling this property, and you look at the price down here below when you sell it, because it says this is what you'll get. Let me just show you real quick so that you can see. So if I put, if I were to sell this property, right, and I was, let's say, I put 1,500. Or 15,000 excuse me and then it's gonna say right down here this is what I'll actually receive for that property I'm not gonna sell that property so I if I if I sold this property I would make um, probably about a thousand upix when if I sold it for that price which I'm not gonna sell this property I have no desire to sell it but that's one way that I do it uh, another way that I do it is um, uh, just make sure that all my my t's are crossed and i's are dotted so i look throughout the neighborhood i make sure that i know where the floor is and then i make sure that i uh, am going to pay uh, sell it for more than what i paid for it because i'm going to walk 
want to make some money so there's my reasons and ways to figure out how to sell properties i'm very curious if any of you have some other strategies and and how you consider on reselling a property um leave them in the comments that would be awesome just to, to share some strategies and share some ideas on how we all uh, share properties or sell properties my name is blood spirit this is upland inside the game thank you very much for tuning in